Iga Swiatek versus Arena Sabalenka is the final of the Madrid Masters for 2024. And both ladies have had different roads to get to this stage. Sabalenka entered the tournament as a number two seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Lynette, and after splitting the first two sets, would fight to win. 6-4-3-6-6-3. In the third round, she'd take on the wildcard Montgomery. And again, after battling through the first two sets, Sabalenka would get through in three. 6-1-6-7-6-4. In the fourth round, she'd take on the 13th seed Collins, who is coming in on a massive win streak after winning her last two events, including Miami. And after going down a set and saving break points in the second, Sabalenka would get through in three. 4 6 6 4 6 3 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Sabalenka would play on Draver, a lady she played 12 months before and had the easy win. And this year we're no different, with Sabalenka getting an easy win again, 6 1 6 4, to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Sabalenka would take on the number four seed, Rabakina, a lady who destroyed her at the start of the year in Brisbane. And after dropping the first set, Sabalenka would fight back to win, 1 6 7 5 7 6, to advance to the final. Shviante entered the tournament as the number one seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Wong, but she'd get through easily, 6 1 6 4. In the third round, she'd take on the 27 seed, Castella. And again, an easy win from Shviante, getting through in straights, 6 1 6 1. In the fourth round, she'd take on Tormo, who had beaten Svetolina and Azarenka to get to this stage. And this was the easiest match so far, with Shviante getting through in straights again, 6 1 6 Love, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Shviante would take on Adaj Meyer, the 11th seed, who had just beaten Sakari in the previous round. And after going down the first set, would fight back to win. 4 6 6 Love 6 2 to advance to the semi finals. In the semi finals, Fiontech would take on the 18th seed Keys, who had just taken out Jabur and Goff along the way. This was no problem getting through in straights. 6 1 6 3 to advance to the final. These were played nine times before, with Fiontech leading 6 3 in their head to head, including a match this time last year in the final, and Sabalenka getting the win that time in a three-setter. But they also played in the WTA Finals a couple of months ago, where Shviante got the win, but of course the conditions were much different in Cancun on the hard courts. Sabalenka's going to win this one. She needs to use the forehand and serve well. She was not that great to start the match against Rabakina. In fact, she was absolutely terrible, hitting so many errors, maybe some nerves there, but once she got that first set nerves out of the way, the second and third set, she's got to play like that from the start if she's going to beat Shviante. If Shiontek's going to win this one, she needs to get off to a good start. We saw that she's gotten off to a good start in every match, the exception being when she lost the first set against the Mai, but she was 4-1 up in that first set. So no slow starts this tournament. And she, of course, can't go down a set against Sabalenka because we saw what happened last year when she lost the first set. She fought back in the second, but it wasn't enough. And Sabalenka with momentum is very dangerous. Love this final. 1-2 in the final. I don't think we thought that at the start of the week, considering how good Rabakin has been. Also, how shaky Sabalenka's been. I've got to go with Shriantek, though, in this one. I think Sabalenka may just run out of gas. I mean, she's played so many three-setters this week. Let me know down in the comments below who's going to win Madrid.